some of your coronavirus questions. And the good doctor is in. WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall is back with us live. And doctor, we're going to start with a question from Barbara who asks, now that the pandemic is transitioning to an endemic, should I assume that six months from my last booster is when I should get another booster? So fourth shots are really only recommended for people who are immunocompromised, not for the general public. And that's because the combination of the initial shots plus booster are still highly effective at preventing hospitalization and death. Um, and they're actually also very good at reducing the risk of infection, even though we're starting to hear or we have been hearing about quite a few breakthrough cases. Now, if that changes and all of a sudden hospitalizations are rising or people are getting sicker from COVID, then obviously they will consider recommending additional boosters. And scientists are actively trying to figure out when, how often, and if boosters are going to be necessary down the road. Okay, this is another booster question. It comes from Rick, who writes, I am fully vaccinated and had a booster in August. I also had chemo almost two years ago, and Dana Farber recommends receiving a second booster five to six months after the first. Any idea when they'll be available? So, you know, that's a good question. And you're one of the people that I was talking about with the prior question, because it sounds like you are immunocompromised and therefore the CDC actually recommended that people who are immunocompromised get an additional booster five months after their last shot. Now, the CDC actually just a few days ago changed that. And so now if you're immunocompromised, you can get an additional booster three months after your third vaccine. So you should be able to go and get one now. Excellent. Dr. Malika Marshall, as always, thank you. Lisa, Dr.